Even in the summer months, we try to make our morning routine as close to normal as possible with our Bible readings and prepping breakfast and just sitting down as a family to do that together. And then it is always time for cleanup. And I just, I often think it's just as easy to hand wash the dishes as it is to throw them in the dishwasher. And then again, you just pull them out of the drying rack and use them for the next meal. So I, I just find that pretty quick and simple. Although I do use the dishwasher a lot more often now with two little kiddos compared to when it was just my husband and I. is often clean up after every meal too as most of you know that and so just getting the table wiped off some extra things that got put on the table after breakfast um, just getting my little girl outside because she loves to play out on that deck and it's a great place for her to play because I can see her really well there too and so yep she wanted some fresh air and it was such a cool crisp beautiful August morning and so why not have the door a little bit open for some fresh air while I finish cleaning up in the kitchen. And then I took a little road trip to a neighboring town to get a good coffee and some amazing donuts. So it was a fun little outing for us. neighboring town has a wonderful bike path by some river area and just a quiet nice walk so after I'd gotten my coffee and the donuts we headed out for a little stroll through the beautiful scenery. It has been a beautiful morning so far. It is a quarter to 11 already. We had an outing after breakfast, my girls and I. We went to a local town, to a coffee shop, got a coffee, got some donuts from a really good local bakery, and went for a walk on their bike path near a river, and it was just a really nice morning. Stopped at my husband's warehouse and dropped the donuts off for them. I had to keep a maple stick, of course. I've got a got it in a napkin here but I'm gonna have a little bit of that here um, yeah it's just a really fun little town to stop at and with a nice bike path so that was beautiful and now the girls are just laying here after Nadia ate today I also need to blanch and freeze some tomatoes I don't have enough to can yet but I thought you would enjoy seeing that and then I'm gonna make a pizza with some of our fresh garden tomatoes as well and some leftover chicken, make a barbecue chicken and maybe um, just a tomato, tomato sauce pizza as well. feet you can maybe see them on the edge she was just watching but um, one thing I recommend is to prune your tomatoes I failed at doing this so it's kind of like a jungle to get to my tomatoes but I needed to pick tomatoes so that I could um, blanch them and freeze them now, I haven't canned any tomatoes yet I just find that I have enough freezer space and that's really quick and I find the flavor really good after freezing them as well. So I'm just doing that, putting them in some hot water for 60 to 90 seconds, and then in an ice bath um, so it shocks them, makes it super easy to peel and then quarter, and they are just such juicy, good tomatoes that I have this year.
I am showing you this as it is after lunchtime, after tomatoes have been done, um, and my little Nadia needs some attention to that this is okay to be um, having to hold your little ones, cleaning up again. Monotony often happens in homemaking, but we just have to realize we're serving our families and doing it because it's something that um, I feel like God has called many of us to do because we want to serve our families and serve him in loving our homes as well. So yes, monotony does happen in cleaning up the table three or four times a day and picking up things that get put on the table, wiping chairs down. So just showing you that this is very normal. And for me as a new mom of a newborn and a toddler, things just have to be picked up quite regularly. little ones are down for a nap so I've got the monitor on my hip and I'm pulling my beans because they are done with and then I'm gonna pull some cucumbers some other things now that need to be pulled I have some peas that I need to pull out my corn is finished but of course I will use those stalks to decorate with for fall So this is our little fixer upper cottage that is next door to our house that we are turning into a little Airbnb or overnight rental. And so I needed to get some of this cleaning done so I could paint the windows. I shared that in my Instagram stories earlier this week, some of the updates that have happened. And I just have to make do with the time I have, bring both little girls over and get things done in the time frame that I can with how long the girls will last. So again, that's homemaking and motherhood for you. sourdough pizzas and this time it is so good because I'm using fresh tomatoes as my tomato sauce and then I also made a barbecue chicken half too so I split it in half and the tomatoes roasted first is so good with some of the extra seasoning on the sourdough starter it just really brings out the flavor and then I had fresh basil from my garden so this is the time of year if you've got any of those herbs any tomatoes that you're not sure what to do with just roast them first and then put them on and it is so delicious of a pizza and so simple I do have to give a shout out to my husband because I would not be able to prep supper like I do just through and through without his help. He takes the girls and plays with them and watches them while I can do something I love, which is making food and doing the cleanup because he knows I really enjoy that. So I shout out to my husband and love him so much for doing that. But here is our finished pizza that we devoured that day. cleanup of the kitchen for the evening and again I just want to remind you that you can love your homes you can make things beautiful with 
adding just some fresh cut flowers and remember that you're doing this to serve your family serve the lord and it just honestly brings me joy to have a fresh start in a fresh place In the evening, part of my homemaking routine is skincare. I have started using this Teamy Renew Eye Cream product for about a month now. And being a mom with two little ones not getting as much sleep, I have seen a difference in how it brightens my under eyes. And you can even put it on your brow bone and it's all natural ingredients, which I absolutely love. So if you are interested in using this product, you can use Davy 20 when you check out at the Teamy website and they will give you 20% off the Renew eye cream. And then it is time for my bedtime, which so thanks for coming along with me today. And remember, homemaking is what you make it with loving your home and your family. Mm -hmm.